Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Super highly, highly requested video. Today we are doing a Boo Lot drop video with the 6.5 Grendel. Tons of you guys have been messaging me requesting this video since we got the 6.5 Grendel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys out to the range and we are going to do some real world drop testing with the 6.5 Grendel. See what happens for me in real life out at the range. Then I'm going to bring you back here and I'll put the numbers in the ballistics calculator and see what it says on paper. And if you have a 6.5 Grendel, you'll have some baseline data to go off of. If you're trying to stretch yours out, go longer with the 6.5 Grendel. Well, let me show you what I'm using real quick. This is my 6.5 Grendel. This is a Ruger American. You guys that watch the channel know that I'm a huge, huge fan of the 6.5 Grendel. And I'm an even bigger fan of the Ruger Americans. They just do good for not a whole lot of money compared to a lot of other stuff. But this is my 6.5 Grendel Ruger American Predator. On top, I got a Crimson Trace Hardline Pro Optic. Y'all know that I'm a big fan of Crimson Trace Optics. But... That's the Bing Bang Boo Lot Slinger. I'm going to be using some of these Hornady SSTs, 123 grainers, which has a BC of 0 0.510 on the G1 scale. So that's what we're going to be using. Let's go out to the range first and verify my 100 yard sight in. All right, so let me grab the targets here. First, we went to 100 yards to verify my zero. And at 100 yards, I was hitting 2.015 inches high. I didn't measure the group there, but pretty decent group. That's under a one inch group at 100 yards. And we need to know this because where calculating the drop that we got at 200 yards so we're going to add this to what we saw at the other thing because i was hitting high at 100 i probably should have recited it in for exact exactly 100 but uh this 65 grinnell stuff is hard to find and it's also not cheap and i don't have a whole lot of it so we're just rolling with it so we're adding that 2.2 inches uh to what we saw here so what, what happened here? The average drop from where I was holding was 0.6 inches. So we're adding that to the two inches we had at the first. <clears throat> 2.69, might as well call it a 2.7 inch drop at 200 yards. from. And then this one down here, calling it a 2.5 inch drop, average the two, 2.6 inch drop. So... <clears throat> That data, 2.6 inch drop, real world drop, what happened to us out at the range between 100 yards and 200 yards. That data is probably a little bit squirrely because I didn't actually get it perfect at 100 yards. But hey, 2.6 was the drop difference. We saw 2.6 inches between 100 and 200. Let's go to the ballistic calculator the drop chart, I'm going to put in the data for these Hornady SSTs, and it's going to put us out of reading. It's probably going to tell us it's somewhere closer to 4 inches drop than 2.6. But let's show you on paper what the drop chart and the scope dials tell you. I'm going to show you the elevation columns. It'll be the drop in inches, what you would dial for MOA scope or a mill scope. So let's check it out. All right, here we go, guys. 
You can see I've put in the information here, the BC of 0 0.510, 123 grain boulots, the muzzle velocity. And for a 100 yard sight in, this drop chart is saying we should see a 4.4 inch drop. So definitely more than the 2.6 that we saw. I would probably lean towards believing this chart uh, more than what happened with me out in the field. But hey, that's what happened. So this chart is calling for a four and a half inch drop at 200 yards with a 2.12 MOA dial and a 0.6 mil dial. Go to 500, it's dropping 63 inches, a 12.0 MOA dial, a 3.5 mil dial, go all the way down to 1,000, dropping 407 inches, you're going to dial 38 MOA and 11.3 mils. Notice that it is not going subsonic here, so this 6.5 Grendel round stays supersonic at least out to a thousand but there's your dials there appreciate you guys watching wanted to get that video done quick 2.6 drop is what happened to me out there between 100 and 200 the ballistics calculator is calling for a 4.4 but hey there's just some baseline data we may revisit this one again with some uh different boo lots those have a bc of 0 0.510 but appreciate you watching tons more videos coming I've got so much in the plans that I'm super, super excited about. Appreciate y'all watching. We have the best viewers on the interwebs. Hope this gives you some baseline data to use to help you calculate your drop. You don't have to worry about it. Just go to this video and that chart right there of the 6.5 Grindel. Probably going to do some other ammo with the 6.5 Grindel because I'm absolutely loving it. And sometimes I like to get nerdy on the drop details. But appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below what you want to see next time. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo.